Oh no. <laughs> Guys, this is the worst thing ever. Oh no. Oh my gosh. This is the worst theory ever. Oh my goodness. You won't you won't believe. You won't believe this. You'll see all TV shows a different way after this. Here's the truth about Blue's Clues. Here's a theory I have. So it all started in 1777. No, 1877, I mean. Haha, <laughs> sorry guys. When this guy named Steve was a detective but also had three pets. One was a dog. Her name was Blue's. She's a girl. But here's a shocking part. Steve also has two cats, and they're both boys. One, one is greens, and one is reds. So it's kind of weird to know, but and both and Steve and Steve was like 25 at this time when this happened, and also he kind of still is right now. And you'll learn why in a few, why when I tell you. And Steve used to have parents. His parents is his parents his own like his parents own free prints as well. One was yellows. That which was oh, that which was yellow kitten from Blue's Clues. No 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 no. I mean one was yellows, one was whites. They're both cats. They're both girls. And then there's another and then Magenta is not actually a girl. She, she, or as I can say, he is actually a boy. Yeah. And Blues and Magenta are boyfriend and girlfriend. Whites and Reds are boyfriend and girlfriend as well. Well, Yellows and Greens are boyfriend and girlfriend. Guys, it's pretty shocking, but. And here's the other thing. One day, both his parents were murdered, and Steve had to be the detective, and he was so hurt, they had to take all the free, his parents' free pets to his own house. He felt so disturbed about it, that he even bought these solution of drugs from a store. They actually did that back in the old days, okay? But here's something that's weird about the drugs. They also made him not age a single bit. He also made him immortal, so that's why he's still alive in a cartoon world to this in a TV show world, TV shows world to stay. Yeah, basically, this is very scary. He gave them to all his parent, all the pets that he had in the house, even the ones that weren't really his or his parents in the first place. And he all went on these elusive adventures. And you know, the very first thing that's ever made. About the black kid on a horse. The black kid was Steve. And the horse is blues. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. And you know all those TV shows right. And this goes on with other TV shows too. Ed and Eddie. Yeah. Single D Ed. Could be Steve. Double D Ed. Could be green. I mean, it could be blues. Eddie could actually be. Greens, Sarah could be reds, and etc. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you guys. For Major Gumbo, for example, what if Steve is Richard Watterson? Magenta. No, 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 I mean. Blues. Is actually Nicole Watterson. Gumbo Watterson is yellows. Greens is Darwin Watterson. Last but not least, Anais is Magenta. But Magenta's a boy. They may say Shh, he's a girl, but no, it's actually a boy. They're lying to you. I'm very sorry, guys. It's so true. I just wish I could see this fake, but it's not. It might not, it might actually be true. It, it's, 
it's also weird to find how they're still was still alive today. Every single video that they ever that ever existed, they've been in. But every single TV show, they also been as well. I'm very sorry, <laughs> guys. To know that Blue's Clues has a creepy theory to it. I'm very sorry. They're also having a remake. It's weird that they're having a remake. That's an Asian guy right there. <laughs> what if he's re hallucinating? What if he's taking those hallucinogenic drugs and deciding to change his hallucinations up? Like, he's hallucinating other characters, but he but one day in the early 2000s, he wanted to make his own hallucination called Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Blues Clues! What is that green dog doing? Fun fact, guys, the green dog and the kangaroo <laughs> never existed. I just, I dare think. I'm sorry. Blues. Like, let's see Blues for instance, guys. Blues has big ears, small eyes, big nose, weird mouth, short tail. Steve. Black hair. He's just a guy with normal eyebrows, long nose, complete opposite of Asian eyes. Magenta! Magenta! Just like Clues Clues. This is not the actual Magenta, it's just a knockoff picture. There are, there are many Steves. Steve himself hallucinates to be other people. It's sad that only two characters here are actually real. Blues and white. Blues. White. I'm very sorry for ruining your childhood and your other TV show life. If any pretends that he's Asian, nowadays he does. But it's still not perfect. Somebody please help him. How did he ran? How do you, how do his pills last so long? Here's the thing: they never expire. They just regenerate as well. Tell you guys, this is very weird. I don't know how. My theory just goes expandingly long, horribly, horribly long. Even if it may be like every single other TV show theory, this one is the yet worst one ever. Knowing that there's only blues clues that could actually be real in the TV world, I'm very sorry, guys. 
very sorry. Look at these shitty toys. They publish toys a lot. And it's just quite weird. Actually, they don't do it a lot. And who the hell would have a talking mailbox? Please help this guy. Just please help this guy. We need... If this guy... was real... Somebody would probably already helped him many years ago. I know, I know, I know you're crying, guys. I know, I know um, you're crying. It doesn't affect me, but it affects a lot of people. I am super, 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 duper sorry. Yeah. I'm very, 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 very sorry. Blue's Clues launched in the 90s. Well, look at this planet they made. Both the Steve with Blue's. But the other, the only one that sees a real. Guess what? This is the real one. This is a fake one. Oh my goodness! What if there's a deformity? This what it look like. <laughs> Okay, that's hell weird. I thought those are bruises for a second, but no, there's, but no there's spots. <laughs> Look at all these weird notebooks and clues. I don't think the reboot will do as good as the original. Or so. Dot dot dot. And what if when Blue signals his drugs, the sea forces him and his other pets to take? Actually, cause he can hallucinate a dog like that. Like, dogs aren't supposed to hallucinate like that. They aren't supposed to have imaginary friends. This is not what their house actually looks like. This is not what their house actually looks like. I swear. They probably live in a boring old shed. Now let's take white for an instant. Her actual name is White. She's actually a girl. Though I'm not pretty sure about why the hell this character is in a fucking show. She was actually a maniac to both of these parents and they're trying to get rid of her, but she might have actually murdered both the parents of Steve's parents instead. And Steve just didn't know who the real murderer was. He didn't want to figure out. He was the only detective. Only since he was a different detective. 
active, stay healthy, stay healthy and carefree. Enough. There's something with whites. Whites might have the bipolar disorder. It's weird for a cat to have bipolar disorder, but hey, let me just tell you. It could be true, Miami. You know that whites might actually be mentally ill, right? White Kitten? It's real name? Like, White... Oh, White... White's real name? And I mean, White's re nickname was White Kitten, but he also had another nickname. Periwinkle. I mean, Periwinkle. Sorry, guys. White, or as I could say, Periwinkle, was a, was a, was an abuser to both Steve's parents and to his fellow siblings, step-siblings, as I could say, the other, his parents' other pets, Magentas, and Yellows. You know that green pup I see? That green pup is actually White's imaginary friend. The green dog as well is also mentally ill, just like White as a kid. Periwinkle is. Periwinkle is act, or as you could say, White is Actually, a psychopath. And his imaginary friend, I mean, her imaginary friend, she, she calls him Leafy. There's a secret life. The other kitten that you're just seeing right now is actually red, but it just says orange kitten, cause it's it's the pet's hallucinations. It's the hallucination adventures of Steve and all of his parents and his own pets. He owns that. His parents own that, but now he does. White. I like to say there's something really wrong with this character, and this character should have treatment. I'm very, very fucking sorry for ruining your childhood. I'm fucking sorry. Trust me. Next, yellows. Which people called her yellow kitten. She was, she's very paranoid. She's very... He can easily scare her. She's very scared of everything. Just because of her abusive sister. Harry Winkle, or as you can say, White. Or White Kitten. Whatever. And he, and she was trying to help her sister 
to calm down and to get better, but it only got worse. Nothing really worked. She tried to look for a doctor, but it just didn't work. Oh my gosh! Somebody please help her! And her sister! Oh my goodness! Poor yellow kitten! I feel very sorry for her. On March 18th of 1876, she was said to be a paranoid cat by a veterinarian back in the old days. Steve's mom was actually a vet. She owned her own vet clinic for pets. She took care of all the townsmen's pets. Wow, and she was the best vet in town. It's quite weird to say that all this could be true. Next, this is one of Steve's pets, Green Kitten, or as you can say, Greens. This cat has high-functioning autism. He as well was also abused by Periwinkle, or as you can say, Whites, or White Kitten. Sorry, ma'am. And he basically is very scared of Periwinkle, but pretends not to be scared of her. He tries to kill her sometimes, but it just never works. Periwinkle just tells Greens how guilty she feels for your existence and if you tell anyone about my abuse to any of you I will kill myself and the entire family of all his pets and Steve I am very sorry for Greens can somebody please help him Okay. Next, we got Red. People call him Orange Kitten. But his actual name is Red. As you know it. A lot of people just cannot believe That this is really true, but Orange tries to defend Greens, his bro his step brother, on um Periwinkle, defense and abuse. <laughs> He tries his best to protect the entire family from him. I mean, from her. From her abuse. And you know what I mean by her. Perry ain't go exactly. She pretends to be nice, but behind the scenes, she's actually very abusive. Perry Winkle, fuck you. But f this is Orange Kitten slash Reds. Reds? 
tries to protect all of his siblings. <laughs> Reds makes fucking sure tries his best to protect anyone from Periwinkle. All Periwinkle saying telling all his victims if you tell anyone I will kill myself and all of my own family and then kill all my victims including you which sucks now we got green dog this green dog has short ears this is the imaginary friend of periwinkle okay this dog, this imaginary friend dog, gives advice to Periwinkle to help her abuse people. I am sorry. Can someone please put Periwinkle down? Steve. We didn't talk about Steve. We know that he, we already talked about how he went end up in like a murder scene of his parents and start taking loose of drugs because actually mentally hurt him that much. And actually sold him back in the old days. And started taking over his pets and he also made him immortal and not age a bit and seemed done with his pets. And his parents' his pets. After his parents died, well, he was already 25 years old when that happened. He's still 25. He's stuck as a 25-year-old. Well, adults have old parents. And I think you know why. All you have to do... An independent kid. He did not care about other people. He just didn't care about anyone. He just wished he could drift off to his own world. I was like, what, what is with for greens? I'm very, 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 very disappointed with this. Last but not least, guys. Actually, no. Next, we got blues. Blues. It's just your ordinary dog. But he also has problems as well. Blues is pretty aggressive to others, especially like Periwinkle. Just like his imaginary. Periwinkle's imaginary friend. Blues gives advice. <laughs> And Blues also shares the imaginary friend with Periwinkle. Oh my goodness. Magenta, his boyfriend. Magenta's girl, I mean, friend is Blues. She is basically outgoing and did not care about Periwinkle nor Blues abuse. He lo he she's obsessed with abusers. I don't know why, she just is. And she also suffers bipolar disorder. Post dramatic stress disorder. Anxiety disorder. ADHD. ADD. OCD. ODD. And last but not least. Multiple personality disorder. <laughs> and the rest of the characters were fake. I am so sorry, guys, 
for ruining your childhood, but he had to do what was right. Grow up! And I'm not just growing, ruining your childhood, but I'm ruining your entire life on TV shows. It's not just TV shows, guys, but it's also books. It's also the fiction books I read. Well, the store, the books that take place in stories, as well. No matter how non-fiction or fiction they are. <laughs> So please be aware, this is what Blues really acts like. He does smoke cigarettes. This is Blues, Blues' imaginary friend. It looks like a Happy Tree Friends character. I know, it kind of looks like Flippy. But it is a copy of Flippy. He calls him Evil Ferret. Shows can be very creepy. Don't let your kids watch Blue Scores. It's a dog reunion. Steve decided to go on his list of adventures with his pets again. And a bunch of his pets pretend to be different characters. Show them to be themselves from Blue's Clues. What else is they also imagined some some people some characters are actually imaginary. Jake from Adventure Time. I forgot what the dog's name is, but I know it's from The Simpsons. Ren. Snoopy? Blues. Dog. From Cat and Dog. Whatever that weird dog is. The dog from Clean Show, if you know which it is. Um, Brian Griffin from Family Guy. Courage the Cowardly Dog. I recognize a dog we forgot his name.
end of theory. I hope you had a nice time. Now, see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.